After Gary Wanless had taken the olive branch of forgiveness up the ass more than once, some time before Mackenzie Johnson's untimely passing, the Quisling has ratted him out to Zarko. Kim Film V and just about everyone else who frequented the Paul Pot Peace Center. Long before it became apparent to poor, a grieved Gary Wanless. Everyone knew that Gary had attachment disorder. Everyone knew that Gary would make a lousy comrade. Because good ones do not have this condition. Good comrades are able to be married and have multiple sex partners of both genders and Gary has not been doing either. Or any. Of those things. He was neither married nor promiscuous. Except for his one relationship with Livia Conton. And that was not a very good relationship. Gary had admitted it in conversations with his friends. He was guilty. Again it was a case of the double whammy. As you've been brainwashed back at the community college that a person is entitled to closure. He won't be getting any now that Mackenzie Johnson is a stiff. Good luck working it all out through transactional analysis at this point. That terribly hard winter was not kind to Gary. He had been delivering his little packages and notes and documents on his used green five-speed Schwinn collegiate bicycle. The job required him to ride his old bicycle. With his worm eating old tires. On snow and ice. Up and down steep. Steep hills. And one day in February he met with misfortune. A muscle car came careening down the street and it struck Gary Wanless.